so what would happen if the competent authority okay receives a request for map is something which is covered by article 27 paragraph 2 the competent authority let's say we are talking about the us competent authority the competent authority shall endeavor endeavor as in put in an effort please note that while both the competent authorities are duty bound to try negotiate and arrive at a resolution which is in accordance with the provision of the convention right it is not mandatory for them please hear it again it is not mandatory for them that they have to arrive at a decision right but they shall endeavor if the objection appears to it to be justified so if there is a us taxpayer who comes to the us competent authority saying that indian comp- indian tax authorities haven't taxed me properly he comes to the us competent authority that i want to invoke map so if the us competent authority believes that one the objection is justified and second if it is not able to arrive at a sort satisfactory solution itself which means that if there is a case where the us competent authority believes that the taxation done by the indian tax authorities is fine right it tries to convince the taxpayer but the taxpayer does not agree right in such a case it shall endeavor to resolve the case by mutual agreement with the competent authority of the other contracting state so the competent authority of india right and what will be the view with a view to the avoidance of taxation which is not in accordance with the provision of the convention if the taxation is as per the provision of the convention no need to pursue map any agreement reached shall be implemented notwithstanding any time limits or other procedural limitation in the domestic laws of the contracting states so if there is a decision which is arrived at under map so let's say for example uh, let's say the order for assessment was passed in 2014 right in 2016 which is within 3 years the taxpayer approached the us competent authority and filed a map which was initiated immediately with the indian competent authorities they took 4 years and in 2020 the decision was arrived at it might just be that the ability to amend this assessment order may not be there under the indian domestic laws after 6 years from the date on which it has been passed but if this map is something for which a resolution has been arrived at this will be implemented this will override these limitations which might be there under the domestic laws of a country let's look at article 27 paragraph 3 the competent authorities of contracting states shall endeavor to resolve by mutual agreement any difficulties or doubts arising as to the interpretation or application of the convention they may also consult together for the elimination of double taxation in cases not provided for in the convention so there are two parts to it part 1 part 2 i'll take the second one first because this is easy so let's say for example a us taxpayer is subject to double taxation in india and in us but the case is so specific that he cannot maybe get covered under any provision of the treaty he can invoke a map for elimination of double taxation right and the two competent authorities may agree for this right they may agree that we will consult and arrive at a decision on this particular case because it is genuinely resulting in double taxation even though it is not provided for in the convention second is if there are any difficulties or doubts arising into interpretation or application now if you actually step back a little bit and look at these two words interpretation and application 
one thing which is for sure is that both of them presume the existence of law or the treaty provision which is to be either interpreted or to be applied what i want to tell here is a map cannot be a means to rewrite this law you cannot rewrite is not permissible you can only consult on the interpretation or the application of the treaty you cannot rewrite the law and whatever you interpret or whatever you think it should be applicable if the two competent authorities arrive at some interpretation which the courts before whom the appeal is pending okay suppose think of a case where a taxpayer has filed an appeal and is also pursuing map if the two competent authority agree on an interpretation or an application which the courts believe is not in accordance with the provision of the convention because it is prima facie against those the courts are not bound by the interpretation placed in the map proceeding right so the scope of article 27 paragraph 3 is there has to be a resolution or an application of a treaty provision which deals with difficulties or doubts which arise as to the interpretation or application of the treaty or it could also deal with the elimination of double taxation in cases which are not provided for in the convention now like i said it is not mandatory to achieve results right but once a result is achieved under map it is binding on tax authorities of both the states they cannot disregard what has been concluded under map